What's up guys, Hunter from Reptic Guys here, and like I did with my Tegu Zeus, I'm also going to do all about my iguana. This is my green iguana. He's right here. Um, he's not nice. Just, just putting that out there. He's not nice. He just whips me a lot. But, you know, I'm trying to hold him a lot. See, there he is. A little scared already. But, like, you know, watch him. If I just approach him from the front, ooh, I'm nasty. He just tried to bite me. But usually he doesn't try to bite me. Um, I just. And there you go. I can just pick him up like that. That's like the only thing I can do. Um, I can't approach with my other hand just to like secure him on there. He'll try to whip me and stuff. But that's what I feed him. I feed him some collard greens. But this is Ryder, my green iguana. Uh, he is like two months old, maybe, maybe a month old. He's he's pretty cool. Um, he eats a lot. Like this is like nothing for him. He eats it all up. But um, yeah. So this is his cage down here. I'm gonna put him down. So he doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't start getting mad. Um, yeah. This is his cage. It's, uh, I think it might, I don't know how tall it is, like three feet high and uh, two feet wide. But that's his cage right there. I have his water bowl. This rock is where I put his food, but once I, when I first put in the food, I put it up here because this is where he hangs out the most, like up here. So I'll start it up here and then like an hour or two later, I'll take it down and put it down here because I don't want it to boil under the basking light. Um, yeah, but, I mean, he's pretty cool. If he wasn't as, like, aggressive, he'd be, like, a really cool, really cool iguana, but he is aggressive. Um, but how how I got him was, I was just, you know, I was talking to my friend about reptiles and stuff, and we were just talking, and then, like, two days later, he was like, uh, dude, do you want an iguana? And I was like, yeah, sure, dude. He was like, yeah, I'll give it to you for uh, 20 bucks. Um, just just come to my house and then just bring the $20 and I'll give them to you. And I was like, okay. You know, he said, he'd, he, said he wanted to get a, a bigger one. Or maybe this one was just too aggressive or something. But it's fine with me. I mean, as long as he grows up to get big, I'm fine with him being aggressive. Uh, I'll just put on a glove or something just to, like, make sure. But, yeah, I can't get too close or he just whipped the camera. But he's a really cool iguana. Um, let's see, uh, I use cypress mulch for him. People say not to use anything, but he doesn't even go to the ground a lot. Except for when he goes for his food and he just, like, jumps on the branch and just hangs down and bites on the food. Um, but I'm just gonna, I was just gonna use it just to keep humidity because it, keep, it does keep humidity good. I use, oh, it's just. Hey, Mr. Is over here. This Mr. It's just like a a one gallon Mr. He knows, like, whenever he hears that noise, that he's gonna get Mr. So. We usually jump in his little tree thing right here. But I guess he's just chilling today. Yeah, but I just. Go ahead and I just miss the cage like this. I get like all the wood all nice and wet. And yeah. But yeah, so I do that like twice a day just to make sure humidity's nice and high in here. Um I do I did have a temperature gauge. I I think I lost it, but I measured like right here on this rock and it was like one fifteen, which is like perfect for him. And uh his UVB is right here. I just have one, and it like it just like comes down over the whole cage, so he gets UVB wherever. His basking rock is right on there. Uh, we it this was just like a cabinet, and then my friend gave it to me for free, and he said just do whatever you want with it. So we just built this little ramp, and then the little ledge right here. So that's his. I think this cage is pretty cool. I just added these air holes, which I did not like, but oh well, I guess. I guess it's fine. 
yeah, but, um, so that's him, he's, he's really cool, actually, he's a really cool iguana, um, what else to say about him, uh, I'll make a iguana care video if you guys actually want me to, um, it shouldn't be that hard, they are, I mean, they're really cool, just gotta keep the humidity up, and feed them a lot, I feed him every other day, just like my tegu, so I feed them both on the same days. And this is what I feed him. I put the Funkers calcium on my tegu and iguana food and my bearded dragon food. Uh, I use that. That's I think that's that's really good for them. All my all my animals that I use it with, they all have really strong bones and are active and healthy. So I'm just gonna stay with that. Oh yeah, uh, I think I'm just I'm gonna add it in right now. I've been boiling these leaves for like two hours. Uh, yeah, I'll have a light in here. I've been boiling these leaves for two hours, so I'll take them out. It's like it's just in really hot water, so I think it's all good. Soak them up nice and good. But yeah, so I'm just adding, I'm adding some more leaves to the, down here, because it's like, kind of plain, so I just want to like, spice it up a little bit. So hang on. Just look at him. So, yeah, um, the leaves are over here. I'm just gonna, like, roll it up in a bone to dry it as best as I can. Okay, I'm just gonna put you back and show you him again. Get all mad. Okay, so now I'm just going to add all these leaves in there. I'm just going to throw it over here. Just try to get it as tropic as possible in this cage. Oh yeah, he, he drinks out of his water bowl. Actually, a lot more than I thought he would. Where is he even at? He's just up there. Um, oh, there he is. He's in. There he is. Yeah, but he's just saying what I'm doing to his house. Uh, I think we're gonna add some in here too. Just get a little tropical in here. whipping at me while I'm doing this. Okay, so there. Now it's just like, you know, got a bunch of leaves on that side, so it looks like a little tropical place now. Um, yeah, so that is my iguana. His name is Ryder. Uh, my brother thought of the name because this was supposed to be his lizard, so... 
he, I let him think of the name, but, you know, of course, I have to take care of it. But that's fine with me, because he's pretty cool. Uh, but I hope I hope he gets tame. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like, I don't know, on temperatures or something. Uh, yeah, but I'll just move it down. What I do with the food is I tell, like, I show him the food, and then I show... And I push it down at the bottom, and then he just, he'll just go down there and eat it whenever he wants to. Uh, he'll probably try to get used to all these leaves I just added. There we go. So now you can see it. Yeah, yeah but... So that's him. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And... Uh, this was Ryder, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and see you guys.